Aloha, y'all. Welcome or welcome back to The Socially Awkward Chef. Our recipe today is inspired by some cute little gifts that my friend sent me all the way from Germany, and I'm so excited to use them. So I thought a perfect recipe would be to make some baba ganoush. So we're going to get started by using four eggplant. If you have just the Italian, which are the bigger ones, you can use one to two. Um, I have four of these Asian eggplants. And the first thing that I'm going to do is preheat my oven to 425 degrees. I also coated these with some extra virgin olive oil. And when my oven is ready, we're going to pop these into the oven for 20 to 25 minutes to let them roast. Our eggplant is fresh out of the oven, so I'm going to go ahead and let this cool down for about 15 to 20 minutes or until it's cool enough to handle. Our eggplant has cooled down, so let's go ahead and get these skins off and open these up. and the skin should just slip right on off. We've got our skins removed, so next we are just going to give these a good chop. If you end up using the Italian eggplants, the ones that are a little bit fatter around the base, you're going to need to cook them a little bit longer. So instead of 20 to 25 minutes, you're probably looking at more like 35 to 40 minutes. Just go ahead and check it. Um, best way to do that is if you have a skewer or a toothpick, 
if you insert it into the thickest part of your eggplant and it comes out clean without resistance, you are good to go. We're going to continue to chop our eggplant up until it's chunky, but also getting a little bit of a smoother consistency. That is looking good. So that is about the texture I'm looking for. And I'm going to take this and place it in a bowl. We have our eggplant ready to go. So the next thing that we are going to do is grate up some garlic. And I'm going to start with just one clove. And I'm so excited I get to break in this new awesome grater. Uh, for this recipe, I'm going to start with one clove of garlic. Taste it and then see if I need to add in a second. Next, let's add some cumin that's ground, but let's do a half a teaspoon to start and about a teaspoon of salt. Give this a stir. Next, I'm going to add in some tahini. We'll start off with about three tablespoons. Let's give this a taste. Salt is good, cumin is good, tahini, right on the money, along with that really beautifully grated garlic. The last thing that I need to do is add in some lemon juice. I'm going to go ahead and juice just half of a lemon. Give this a stir. Let's taste it one more time and see if we need to add any more lemon juice. Maybe just a little bit more.
That looks fantastic. Here is our finished baba ganoush. This will be perfect with some pita or crudite or even smeared on a sandwich, which would be fantastic. Thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscribes. And if you have not, please do. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And until we eat again, y'all, aloha!